Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. Today, I wanna to take a look at the M1928 Haversack. This here Haversack is made out of uh, number nine OD, which is the uh, khaki color, I believe. And if you'll notice here, this is supposed to be the improvement of the M1910. Now, this thing is 10 inches wide and it is uh, 15 inches tall. If you was to go from here, down here to right there, which would be about the maximum height, uh, it is uh, 15 inches. Now, and this thing is what I best I could tell, it would be designed to be about three inches thick. Now, this thing all by itself with nothing else is one pound and 14 ounces. That's pretty lightweight. Some of the lightweight backpackers out there might want to give it a whirl. And, uh, but anyway, if you look here, you'll see that it had one strap that would come off here. It would go up and it would loop through here. And that is how it closed. Notice these uh, four buttonholes right here. These were to hook the meat can pouch to. Underneath the meat can pouch, would uh, you would hook the entrenching tool or the shovel uh, pack carrier right there. Notice it's uh, stamped US. This was a very hard design. When you had an entrenching tool and everything on here to try to pull this up and unhook this, it was a bad design. Now let's open it up and take a look at it. First of all, on the flap of the lid of this thing, if you'll see these two straps right here, they were part of the system to hook the meat can pouch to. It had all these loops all up through the middle here is for different adjustments. So you could adjust the pack this way or that way, depending on the size of load you had. But anyway, I had these three straps here that went through the buckles. All of the hardware on this pack is brass painted black, except for these hooks, and they are made of some type of steel painted black. But anyway, let's pull these straps out here and let's take a look at this thing. This would unfold this way, that unfold, and this could unfold. Now, if there was ever a Mickey Mouse job of a backpack, in my opinion, this was it. But yet, yeah, this is a cool pack and a cool piece of history. And you gotta think this was even an updated version uh, of the uh, M1910. But notice this reinforcement patch that we have right here. This is where the shoulder straps connect. See how they're all sewn in there? And then they're riveted with a couple of rivets. If you'll know here, there's a reinforcement also sewed in, and this was on the left side of the pack for the bayonet. Notice the bayonet scabbard. This would be like this. It'd be here like this. The bayonet would hang down and the scabbard could go right through here so it ain't flopping all around while you're on a march. You would put your rations and everything in here and then you adjust this this way or that, depending on what you need. Notice these two hooks here. These are for the, uh, if you something happened, you wasn't wearing your belt, you could uh, still hook the suspenders in here and wear this pack. Now this pack was really uh, designed to wear with the belt, but you could, however, still utilize it. You'd run them straps through there like that. Close the lid and the flat, and you got her going. Now, let's take a look at here. Look down here on the bottom of this pack. You have eight of these buttonholes again. This is also, and notice how this is turned up and sewn with the reinforcement. If you notice on this pack, everywhere where something else hooked on, it seemed to be reinforced or double thickness. But this is also for hooking the pack tail carrier on there. 
I've got a video coming up. I'm going to show how to hook it all up and assemble this. This uh, eyelet here, which is uh, turned different than those, is also part of that system. Let's turn it over, take a look at the back. The back, the web straps, you'll see right here that they're sewn on. There's the back side of those rivets. It is about two inches wide and it's heavy, thick canvas. Comes down here. It's got just the same type of suspender buckles and everything that you see on most other uh, type of suspenders. Now, right here is the big improvement, one of them that I know of. Instead of just having uh, one of these, it put two on here to help support the load. These would go down and they would grab the, uh, the uh, ammunition belt. These would grab the ammunition belt on the front. And then that gave them, it gave this pack one, two, three, four, five, six uh, su supports on the ammunition belt. This particular pack is made by Felt Novelty Manufacturing Company Incorporated, and it is dated 1941. Let's get that up there. Make sure you can see it good. Now, this is the pack that the United States military pretty much entered World War II with, and this thing was actually used uh, almost the entire war, depending on uh, where he was at. You can see pictures of this. They're still using these in 45. Although other packs started getting uh, put in there, uh, they started using them. But anyway, this is the M19 28 Haversack. And uh, I want to thank you for watching Web Gear Review. Uh, hit subscribe and hit the like button, guys. That will really help me out on to grow my channel. So uh, thank you very much in, for watching Web Gear Review.